Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies Tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete De la forma que tú besas, mami, más simétrica que un ori Hey you guys, welcome back If you're new here, welcome. So today I just wanted to share how I achieved these beautiful goddess locks, giving me so much bohemian vibes. I love it. So cute. So, so cute. I love it. First time really having a full locks um, in my hair. So I am just loving it. Super cute. All right, so I'm gonna really quickly share the things that I used. Nothing really, um, you know, that you can't find at your local beauty supply. If not, I know a lot of people order online. I um, went in there wanting to use a certain brand, but ended up having to switch out. So that's the hardest part, is figuring out the type of hair you want and all that good stuff. So. I ended up using the Free Tris Goddess Lock Braids. Ended up only using three and a half packs. So, yeah, three and a half packs and one pack of the blonde. As you see, um, this is all the hair that I have left. So, maybe like uh, a little less than half of a pack of the fourth one and then these are all of the 27 number 27 these are all 14 inches right here probably used about probably like four maybe five blonde throughout um, this particular style and then to get the curly Q hair right here I use this here, which is also by Free Tress. Um, right here. It's also a crochet hair, and this is the name right there. All right, and it's a mix. So I only used, I broke like, two, if you see these are pretty thick, so I probably put these in maybe three strands can, um, and put them all throughout my hair. So I just crocheted them individually in and then right here i just cut them to frame my face uh and then i just use one blonde string yeah out of here so i have quite a bit so as you see i still have a whole pack left i originally about five um one b and 14 inches so i have one pack left one and a half packs left and then all of that blonde and then this is the hair for here so that's all I have left. So that's like almost half for the next style. I'm definitely gonna redo this in the future because it's so cute. First time really keeping up with the faux locks, you know, cause I put them in before and I just took them right out the same day. So I never even got to in wear them cause I didn't like them, but I love, love, love this. Love it. This is what it looks like back here. And to have it stationary like this, I just took one braid here and right here and just tied it. So it's staying stationary. Let me turn it around so you can see. See, that's how it looks in the box. And for this to be 14 inches, this is pretty long. Look how long it comes to my end down my back. That's pretty long to be 14 inches. So they had this in 14 inches or 20 inches. I can only imagine how long the 20 inches and it was only a dollar difference. This hair was $8.99 a pack. And I think the blonde was maybe $7.99. Um, yeah, and again, I only used three and a half packs. So there you go. Let me get into the tutorial and share how I created this beautifulness. Right here, if you guys are in, oh, curious, I will use this argan oil just um, to put on the curls a little bit like if they would get a little fuzzy I'll just take a little bit and just rub it through like now See how that one is. I'll just rub it now. It does make it a bit hard um, but it's this came from the um Family dollar this organ organ oil um, gel and it did just fine 
Alrighty, stay tuned for the tutorial. If you guys have any questions, concerns, all that, leave it down below and I'll try to get back with you. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Thank you so very much for rocking out with me on this beautiful video. I will speak to you guys very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Good. I look crazy. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, is that it? Alrighty, you guys. I'm taking my hair out. <laughs> I'm tired of wearing wigs, so I've taken all of my hair down. Braid my own hair into these little like if I was doing individual. I'm gonna take a crochet needle and one of the little locks. Let's see if I can see it. Put that and then loop it through. Close the latch. And then just go ahead and Pull the crochet. At first, I was only just pulling the braid and the um, I was just pulling the braid through, but I feel like my braids are so skinny, I needed to pull both through to make sure it's secure. All right, and then I pull it very tight, and then I go ahead and take my real hair and twist it in um blending my hair in between like i'm unraveling it and putting my hair and then just twisting it back and now you don't see my hair inside the faux lock so this is how it's looking thus far so i have quite a way away de la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami De la forma que tú besas, mami Más simétrica que un origami Eres perfecta mujer De la cabeza You probably, you get the Alright, so you get what I'm just Making parts And then just braiding my Um, real hair up That's all I'm doing right now, so I'm making um I put a perm in my hair which I shouldn't have did so that's why it's all kind of like stringy and all that stuff but whatever we just gonna roll with it making parts braiding my hair and um adding in the cute little twisty hair look at this weather this is insane look at the swing over there Okay, so as you see, I've gotten quite a bit more of my hair braided. I'm just going through and just braiding. I have, I'm not really trying to make perfect parts, but towards the middle, I'm making them a little thicker um, in the middle section than I was around the perimeter. I made these a bit smaller around here, but here in the middle, they're getting bigger. Cause I don't have time to sit here and keep doing this. So I'm just finished braiding. I feel like if I finish, go ahead and braid my own hair up. Um, it'll make stuff easier um, to just put the crochets on. So at this point. Hey, so it's the next morning. This is what I've gotten accomplished. So what I'm going through now, I just went back to the beauty supply. I'm just putting in, in these little um, fun little hair charms. Um, and now I'm going to attempt to add in, I, don't, I didn't know which curl pattern to get, but I just bought these. It's by Free Tress and um, I'm gonna try to crochet a few strings in to give it uh, more of like a goddess look or so. I don't know, but this is how it's looking. I need to go back in because some of them, you can see my braid through um, the twist. So I just need to go and adjust some of those in the front. But here you go. This is 14 inch into, I cannot imagine having anything longer. Um, but it comes down to my bust. 
line or whatever. I like it. Super cute. So now I'm just playing with it. It's not even heavy. I like that because if these were box braids, they would be super, super heavy. So I'm just, that you see, I'm just putting little, and those were only like a dollar, a dollar or two. Super cute. All right, so let me finish up and um, I'll be back. You guys, I love my hair. So excited how it turned out. It's so cute. So this is my interpretation of the Bohemian Goddess Locks. Love them, love them. And I think <laughs> I even love them because I added in these super cute curlies. So it's just making it so, so chic, so cute. So I will share with you how I did it. It was pretty easy. It was a little time consuming because I didn't crochet it in. I um, These are all individually in my hair. Um, so definitely if you crochet your hair in, it will not take that long at all. But this took about, hmm, I want to say about seven hours to be average. Because I started at 2.30 yesterday. And then, um, like, people start coming home for dinner and all that stuff um we watched a few episodes of like botched and um i was just sitting there just crocheting them in the toughest the hardest part is disguising your real hair within the lock that's it um but if you get your hair corn rolled or you corn roll your hair down you don't have to worry about that but i didn't know how that was going to look and a little bit of my hair in the back is a little shorter and i didn't feel like trying to grip it and make sure that it will stay so i just individually did them all i love this super cute look and i just tied i just took one braid and tied it um just so these will stay and they won't be on my face because i like the little curly cues as you see i framed them out that's it so i hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial love them i'm not sure how long they will last um i never had this hair before but i love this part right here the little curly hair and then you see i went in and put the little blonde and um this is the hair that i went and bought today the little curly it was mixed with 27 and 1b so i just added a few of these little strings within my hair i just went right here on the base of the hair i just pulled the crochet through and and that's it. So the strings are just crocheted on um, these, the part. Not the braid, but just my hair. But this is it. I love it. I hope you guys enjoy. I'll speak to you guys very soon. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you think these are super cute. And if you maybe try them or something, you know. And um, if you're not already subscribed, please do so. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.